everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, I want to welcome you to my Cla Cali page. My name is Clarice and we do tons of awesome DIY projects and you can catch that every single week. So make sure that you're subscribed. This video has been a long time coming. I've had tons of requests for a DIY balloon garland. I've been doing balloon garlands ever since last year for my bridal shower and I really, really love how they look and how they make this space so beautiful. So you're also gonna notice that I'm actually pregnant. I am seven months and I know there's tons of other videos that I wanna put up for my wedding. So make sure that you tune in for all of that and as well, lots of DIY baby showers and DIY baby stuff. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope that you learned something and let's get going to it. The one thing I definitely recommend for this project is getting an electric balloon pump. This one I got from Amazon. It was really cheap and it comes in different settings, which is amazing. This one just turns on and then it just blows your balloon up really fast or you can press down and you can give it as much air as you want. It's definitely easier and more efficient than a hand pump or even just blowing it by yourself. So the first thing you definitely want to do is blow some balloons up. I'll let you know in a bit how many balloons approximately you will need for a space to make a balloon garland but this one is also something you're gonna want to get this is just from the dollar store it's a fisherman line or a fisherman string and it's nice because it's transparent so what you're gonna want to do with your balloons is you're gonna take one and tie it to two others so I'm just making a double knot here so that it's really secure together make sure the knots are tight and they are close together you can actually put as many balloons as you want together or even different sizes, big ones and small ones and tie them all together. But we're going to make a base first. And so we're going to add on to that and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. So like I said, we are going to be making our base for this balloon garland. So you're going to need a place to tie your main string on. I just used this lamp and it was pretty sturdy. You can also use a staircase or something that is super stable for you to hang your string on. So the first thing we're going to do is tie all of those balloons around the main string that we have previously made. And then you're just going to take all of them and stick it on together. Make sure that it's tight. Make sure you're pushing into the center of the balloon so that it's nice and tight there's no space and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tie it all together on the previous one and do it until you have a nice long garland so this is a great way to guesstimate approximately how many balloons you are gonna be needing you're gonna want to estimate how long the spaces you're gonna be that you're gonna be hanging your garland on if you're gonna do it like mine so say three balloons for the base you can kind of multiply that by how long your space is and of course don't forget to consider all the balloons you're gonna need to give this garland a shape so this is where I'm going to be hanging my balloon in kind of like an S shape. And because I don't want to ruin my walls, I'm going to use these nice command stick tapes or command hooks. And I'm just going to put that on the corner right up here, just like this. These hooks are amazing. They're sturdy, they're strong, and it's definitely going to hold up your garland really, really, really well. Now we're going to take our base, our balloon base, and we are going to be hanging that on that hook that we just attached. You want to tie your balloons as close as possible to the hook so that there's no gap and that you don't see the hooks. We're going to be covering it later on so that's definitely okay if there is a big gap but it's less balloons that you're going to have to put there anyways. So what you want to do is double knot that and then we are going to be attaching some tape just so we can secure the garland and that it doesn't fall off. Now that we've got our base hung up, you can definitely take your time to explore some different ways on how you want to hang this garland up. So I said before I wanted kind of like an S shape, so I needed something to anchor the garland up in the middle. So I attached this to the curtain little rod here. Luckily there was a little piece where I can just hang the string. And then I'm just going to hang the balloons from the middle of that. Again, there's many different ways on how you can hang these balloon garlands. You don't have to do it this way. You can get so many inspiration from online. I was missing a little piece at the bottom, so it's really easy for me to just make a few more of the garland at the end. And then I just secured the string, the end of the base string, on the wall so that it won't move when we put on the rest of the balloons. So just want to show you a few of the sizes of the balloons that I got. This is 18 inches. It's from Amazon. Super cheap. I'll put the link down below. I also got 12 inches ones of the confetti. And then the 24 inches ones are from Party City. They're super nice to have because it gives you a little depth and also some contrast as far as the different sizes that you can use for your garlands. 
So now to give this garland some life and also some shape, we're gonna take a good amount of that string, enough for us to wrap it all around the garland. And you're just gonna place the balloons wherever you want. This gives it that nice shape and also makes the balloon garland look a little bit more fuller. So the more balloons, the better. Now for some people, they like to actually include all of these balloons already in the garland and make pieces that have big, small, and also the big confetti balloons already within the three balloons that we had tied together. But I find this way a little bit more easier and I, and I find that you can really manipulate and you can control the size and also the formation that your balloon garland will be at the end. Make sure that you're wrapping the string tight around the rest of the balloons. For me, the real finishing touches are these tiny balloons that you can just make out of 9 inches or 12 inches balloons. Just make sure that you tie them really tight so that the air doesn't come out of them. You can also buy mini balloons, but I like to just use the dollar store ones because they work well. And if you want to fill any space or if you want to make your garland a certain shape, you can just tape these tiny balloons at the end. Also look for spaces to fill in where you can see the end of the balloons because you don't want to show that. Lastly, completely optional if you want to add some florals. These are just from the dollar store and they just add a little bit more depth to the garland. They look absolutely beautiful. Loved how this balloon garland turned out. I'm loving how that turned out and how it looked. I hope that you learned something. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think of this design. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also check out my vlog channel for a daily insight of what my life looks like. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.